Hi, my name is Avi Quintanilla, and this is my lovely wife, Ricky Quintanilla. Hi. And, uh... Oh, by the way, this is our first video that we're doing, coming back from Avi's second knee surgery. Because he thought that he could be Superman and not go to rehabilitation. And he got scar tissue in his knees, and his knee basically got frozen, and he couldn't bend it any more than, what, like 70 degrees? 60. Yeah, so... It was pretty bad. Anybody so, that... so go to rehab, go to rehab. If yeah. you need to go to rehab, any any kind of rehab, go. Hey, not like that. <laughs> huh? So not like that. If they need to go to rehab, it's a good, it's not a bad thing. Lindsay Lohan went. Everybody went. My Robert Downey Jr. went. And look at him. He's now he's doing Iron Man movies, man. Rehab's not bad. Go to rehab if you need to go, man. Yes. Yeah, but so I went to a different type of rehab for my knees, my knee surgery. Physical therapy. Physical therapy. Physical therapy. Physical therapy. But yeah, so because he got stuck, they put him under and they cracked through the scar tissue. And then had, they had to go in there and clean up all the scar tissue that was left. It was, it's been only... So like, that's what happened. That's why he had to go for a second this, knee surgery. This has been like, what, the sixth day? Um. Well, today, we, we are now Monday night. And you just had it Wednesday, so almost a week. Almost a week. And uh, it's been a slow recovery, but thank you for all your well wishes and everybody that wished me well. And uh, I'm going to let Ricky take over from here. We're doing the one, two, three tag. It is a series of questions where you ask, you know, would my, it's supposed to be boyfriend or girlfriend, but I'm changing it to husband or wife. Would my husband or wife rather do this? Or, And you think of an answer quietly to yourself, and then you say one, two, three, and you announce your answer and see if we get the same answer for the both of us. You know what I mean? I think I explained that properly. And you have a really bad glare on your glasses, by the way. How about there? Sure. Okay, question number one. If your husband or wife could marry a movie star, who would it be? Uh, let's say for me first. Who do you think of? Okay, number one is pretty obvious because you always make jokes about it. So we got to go for my number two choice. Who would my number two choice be? What was the question again? If your husband or wife could marry a movie star, who would it be? It just doesn't <laughs> Oh, that was great. Oh, my God. Excuse me, I have a little, bit, a little bit of a cold. <laughs> so almost, you get. almost choked. That's what you get. Okay, so who would... My number two choice. Think to yourself. I know who it would be. Oh, no, okay. I don't have to think. Okay, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I want to think of somebody. I, I'm pretty sure I know who you're going to say my number two is. So you're going to try to fool uh, Is it trying to fool the person? No. Then but I know, okay, okay, go for my number three then. Because I know who you're going to say for number two. Who is I going to say? Probably Channing Tatum. You're correct. Yeah, so let's not go there. Number one, of course, would have been Rock. Two, I know he would have said Channing Tatum, even though that's not what I would have said. But, okay, so who you think my number three choice would be? Your number three choice? But wait, 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 you got to keep it to yourself. Can't say it yet. Can't say it out loud yet. Oh, I got to think. Okay, and it's got to be somebody famous? Yeah, a movie star. A movie star. Not a singing star? A movie star. Not a singing star. A movie star. Not a, not a rock movie. star. Movie. Not a rock star. Okay. Unless that they're in movies. Ooh, Hold on, I got one. I got to think. I got to think. Who would mine be? It's, you're kind of across the board with your the guys that you like. Okay. I think I have one in mind. I think you have this. Okay, I'm going to say one. Okay, but don't don't okay. say it. got to count. Ready? Ready. Okay, who my choice would be? One, One, two, two three. three. Robert Downey Jr. You gotta Jack say it. You can't just hear me. You, you like Robert up. Downey Jr.? I. That's my favorite actor, man. Anyways, so what was your answer? Suppose what were you gonna say? I was gonna just say Lon John Leguizamo because that su oh. that surprised me. Which well, he's handsome. Which okay. Okay, so now who your movie star? Who would you marry if it was a movie star? Okay, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Liv Tyler. Wild. Ew. Okay, now, honey, you're not supposed to be stupid. I love really. Liv, Liv Tyler. I have never heard you say Liv Tyler Dude, in your life. I've said it a lot. I've said it so many times in Armageddon and I've never watched Lord, Armageddon of the, with Lord of the Rings. I don't watch Lord of the Rings with you. I've never even watched that movie, period. You knew I... I, you I would have said... I said Olivia Wilde only because I heard you say it in an interview the other day. Okay, I, I would say Liv Tyler and then my other one would be... But it would be too obvious if I would have if I would have said uh, the other one. Wait, what other one? Um, so you don't even know. Yes, I do know. Give me my, uh, Angelina Jolie because you kind of look like her a little bit. Oh. A lot of bit. 
actually. Not anymore. Oh, yeah, you do. You but still I, do. Okay, question number two. Okay. okay, if your husband or wife could be a celebrity, who would it be? Who would I be? Who would I be? Who would I be? I know who I would be. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Jessica Bursiak. Who? Jessica Bursiaga. Oh, that's a good one. See? I said Beyonce. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even know who Jessica Busiaga was until you. Until what? What? A beautiful wife I have. She's like, one of my friends is having a playmate over at his at his club, and I knew she was going there. And my wife goes, <gasps> I'm a big fan of hers. I've been a big fan of hers for years. I followed her modeling career and stuff. Can can we go? And I was like, sure, why not? And it was actually very nice because that y'all okay. took a picture together, and and I thought that your beauty was. Just as beautiful as hers. Lie. I'm not lying. I look like the Grinch right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Oh my God. I, I wake up to this Mr. every day. Grinch. This is what I wake up to, guys. That's what I wake up to. The bun and that. Aww. How could you not deny that? Okay. She's got a shirt that says fancy. And I always say, you fancy, huh? It's got spikes on it. Anyways, Okay. So, for you, if you could be a celebrity, who would it be? Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Justin Mark Timberlake! Wahlberg. Oh, yeah, that's true. You would have, you would choose Justin Timberlake. I would, man. I said Mark Wahlberg. Nah, he, I, I love Mark. He's badass. Yeah, you do. He's badass. But Mark Wahlberg, my respects to him. But if I had to pick somebody, I mean, I'd have, I'd have to pick JT, man. He yeah, just walks true. into a room and Patty just drop. Ow! So that's what do you want, Dr. Why? No, it's not that I want that. I'm not saying I want that. What I'm saying is that that's what happens. They pa You know what I'm saying? Just, okay. Just putting it out. Just saying. Just putting it out there. Okay, number three. Go ahead. You've gone to 7-Eleven uh, to get milk and have decided to get your husband or wife a treat. What do you buy? Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Can of raviolis. That's not even funny. You wouldn't appreciate a it. treat. That's a treat for no, you. No, it's not. Well, I don't know why you don't eat treats. You're not a puppy or dog because I don't know that end of you. Yes, you do. A treat. Okay, say what you would have gotten more than we got so I can know. A Snickers. See, I didn't know. That. Yes, you did. I always no, get Snickers. No. I always have Snickers. You eat different kinds of candies, too. No, I don't. I always get Snickers. Now I know. Okay, when we go to the movies, what do you eat? I don't. Boom. You eat M and I eat I eat freaking raviolis. No. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's do it again. Oh well, no, because now you know my answer, so now I gotta go for a second pick. Okay. Okay, I know my second pick. Okay. Ready? I got your second. One, two, three. Sour M &M's. Patch Kids. Oh, that was a good one. See? Oh. I said M and I meant like the peanut M and M's. Okay, you go. You. Cook. But yeah. Okay, but uh, okay. Snick well, Snickers, for you. Snickers is your number one. For me. Well. Okay. Think of an answer. What would you want? Uh, you know my number one. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. <sighs> Dude, you don't know what my number one. At seven, something you can pick up at Seven Eleven. What your number one snack would be? Uh, don't tell me. I'm trying to think like when we're on the road and what you bring with you because you always bring sandwiches with you. Okay, I think I got it. Ready? One, one two, two, three. Blue bombs. Oh, damn it. You're right. What, what boyfriend do you have me confused with? Because <laughs> you always eat my M&M's. Dude. You always eat my M&M's. But the blow pop, yes, he's right. And that's because I always like surprise him and bring him. I always bring him blow pops. Why did I not think of that? <laughs> so close, but yet so far. <laughs> this has been the most... Hardest video that I've ever made in my life, man. This is harder and than And that's because last night before we made it, you're like, oh, well, that's going to be so easy for us. We know each other so well. No, I didn't say that. You did, I too. Knew, I knew this was not going to be you easy. You did, too. You're like, well, what's the point? We know we're, each other we're across so the well. Board. I never knew that you thought John Leguizamo was good looking. I didn't know that. He's a handsome guy. Yes, but that's random. That's very random. That's very random. It just makes me wonder. I didn't pick him for a choice. You did. Yes, because you said it. Like three days ago, four days ago. No. Yes. It wasn't today. We were in Miami when you said it. Oh, wait, that's oh. right. Okay, when... I don't even remember how his name came up. Because. I don't know. Okay, right. question number four. What percentage of housework would your husband or wife say they do? Okay, for me. Okay. One, 
two, three. One hundred percent. And for you, the percentage you do. One, one two, two, three. three. Zero. Zero percent. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Damn. Every once in a while, I can get him I to like, go the, throw the trash. Because my knees have been bad. Hello? I can't even grab the damn garbage can right now. I can't even <laughs> walk, dude. And my thing is, girls don't do the trash. So I know. That, that used yes, to be his I, job, is that it, he would take the trash out. Yes, so girls, don't, girls don't do trash. I can't. Uh, neither can a person that you can't <laughs> use his legs to drag out the trash, man. Okay, so yeah. So especially these past, what, like... Yes, and it's like 30 it's degrees. like three months. I've it's been doing 30 degrees too. outside. It's 50 degrees. It's cold. You know, give a brother a break, man. Okay, let's see. If your sure. husband or wife could choose one thing for you to get rid of, what would it be? I got it. <laughs> what would I choose for you to get rid of? You got it? Yeah. Don't say it. One, two, two three. three. You're blanket. Oh, yes, I hate you in skinny jeans. <laughs> but I said your blanket because, you know, I hate that you've been using that stupid thing. It's not stupid. Yes, it is. I hate that stupid blanket. Since uh, he's been in surgery, he's been like, he's got like his little velvety, I don't even, it's not even velvet, like the throw blankets, the real soft plush ones, the, yeah, the real, purple one it's that, soft he, plush. It's... that he's been like covering himself with. I'm like, you need to get rid of that thing and get back under the covers with your wife. <laughs> Yeah, I can, okay. I can never do nothing. <laughs> okay, so now one thing that you would choose for me to get rid of. And I already have one. I got it in mind. What you want me to get rid of. Okay, one, one two, two, three. three. Black I boots! Choose. Huh? Them black boots. My boots. My my combat boots. He hates them. Oh. Don't I said my girl. house shoes. Uh, them are them are the number one. Those are <laughs> exactly the number okay. one choice. They're the number two. See, but that would have been obvious. I'm trying not. I'm not trying to do what I think you know. What's the obvious? I'm trying to do whatever the number two one was. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, number six. What's your husband or wife's most repeated sentence or phrase? I don't even know. What do I say a lot? Oh, you man. Okay, I know one. Oh, hold I on, know. don't don't say it. I know. You got it? Uh-huh. You've been doing this bad lately, and I told you. The only thing I can think of is like a bad word that I say. <laughs> you better not be saying bad words. You know, I hate when you say bad words. Or I don't hate, but I dislike when you say bad words. You know that. You fancy, huh? All right, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Hi! You're so mean. She sounds like the. She sounds like like, uh, um, uh, when what's his name? Fogel. What's his name? Yes. When Fogel goes and from Super Bad when he goes into the wrong classroom. It's like Fogel. Fogel. Hi. Hi. He makes fun of the way I say hi because I say hi. I say hi with a smile. So when I'm like introducing to, to somebody, I'm like hi. See, she sounds like her. You sound like the teacher. Sorry that I say hi in a half. Hi. Way. My name is Thomas. What's yours? All right, My something, name's Glenn. Okay, okay, a sentence or a phrase that you say often. I'm drawing, I'm drawing zero. What do you do when you don't draw anything? Okay, so that's it? You just can't think of anything that you say? I couldn't think of anything either. So I just said, home girl. <laughs> when do you say home girl? You never say home girl. I do too, especially when I'm talking to like Avery and Lily and Anna Lee. I'm always like, home girl. Oh, well, see, I'm never around when you say those to those kids. To the, when you talk to the girls, that's mm -hmm. girls. Okay, girl. but for you, okay. Well, you can't think of anything. You can't think of what you say. No, I can't. Okay, I well, I was gonna say I was gonna go one, two, three. Okay. Y'all know who this is? Cuckoo! I don't. Uh, but see, yes, that's, that's a song. Doesn't matter. That's a, that's a phrase. Do I go into? It's a, a phrase. Yes, but do you call people and leave voicemails. Y'all know who this is? Cuckoo! And hang up. <laughs> it's a phrase. It's a, it's a you sentence. Act, you act like I do that all the time. You do the hi every day. I do hi. not. I do not. I don't hi. do it ever. Okay. All right. Number seven. The video's going to suck. What? At number seven. What is your husband or wife's most used curse word? You ready? We're both at the same time, but we can't actually say it. We can only say I was going to yell it. No. Okay. Well, one, two, two three. three. F. F. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Boom. We got that. Okay, and for you? I don't cuss. Yeah, you do. I hardly do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, I think I know yours. Okay, one, one two, two, three. three. MFR! 
you know, I nah. guess. I, I said the S word. Oh, yeah. Okay. S word. The S word. Um, God, this is, this is what is what is your husband or wife's happy, happy, happy? What is your husband or wife's ultimate favorite movie? I got this at all day and night. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, two three. three. Pretty, Pretty woman. woman. <laughs> okay, yeah, you did get it. Mine, you'll never get. Cause you're probably gonna try to think of something different. No, I'm not. I'm not. I just have so many. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Despicable Iron Man. Me. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, you like. Iron Which Man. one did you say? Despicable Me. I love that, but Iron yeah. Man is my favorite. You know, that's my top one, number one. That is true. Love Iron Man. I'm that's surprised a, you didn't say Robert Downey Jr. That's a wholesome. Who that's be. a wholesome movie that what <laughs> kids can learn from. Iron Man, how to build things and how to be a millionaire. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Truly oh, yeah. Number nine. A meteor just hit, and you've saved everything important. What would your husband or wife go back to get? And I'm with you? Yes. We've saved everything important. Okay. What would I go back to that's get? That's a stupid... That's That question has no answer. Because you've already gone to save everything important. So there's exactly. nothing to say. There's nothing more to say. Yes. you got everything important. You're out of there. You're going to get burned up. Get out of there. Get out of there. You're no fun. Dude, you just said you got everything important out of the house. Exactly. Okay, so what so would nothing, I go back to get? The question makes no sense. Yes, it does. If you got everything. Okay, what's well, like my second important thing, I guess you could say, that I would want You to said say. you got everything. You said you got everything important out of the house. What would be the thing that you would go back for? Nothing. What is something fun that I would want to save? Fun? Sure. We don't save put our lives in danger for fun oh stuff. Oh my god, that's the fun part of the question. You would put your life in danger to get something stupid? It's not... Oh my god. This is real life we're talking about here. One, two, tres. Sophie! Oh, my Sophie. Well, Sophie's not here, but if I have my Sophie here, yes. See? But Sophie would be number one important. She's an animal. You'd get your animal. Number one important. You'd put the dog before me? Wow. You're a human. You're getting your own important stuff to get How out. How do you know that my knees? Because my knees are not good and I'm still stuck in the machine. It's going back and forth like that and like that and like that and like that. And I'm stuck and I'm going, Ricky, help me. Just like you wouldn't help me put the Band-Aid on a minute ago. Oh, God. That's so mean. It's not that I wouldn't help you. You're just supposed to be my nurse for a little bit and help me get better. All right. So what would you go back to get? I got one. I got one. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. The Your scrapbook. Guitar. Oh, that's sweet. That's really sweet. Because those could be never be replaced. Bases can be replaced, sweetheart. Memories and beautiful pictures and memories of us and photos they cannot. Now, Especially who, a lot of those pictures because yeah, some, some, no, for some that, reason the, like, the album in my phone like got like, yeah, erased. And, and I know you reason. were sad about that for a long I time. Was. So see, I do cherish you and I do adore you and you know that and that's why you're with me because I, I put you up up on that, up upon a pedestal. Oh. Up high like a lullaby. Okay, number 10. The saying opposites attract is true because me and my husband are opposite at. What are we opposite at? Is it not obvious to all the world but us? Say your answer. Ready? One, One two, two, three. Because you're star. What? Did I get the question wrong? What did you say? Because you're tall? No, well, I guess, but. The saying opposites attract is true because we are opposite at, well, you would say heights. Heights? So, okay. yeah. But I said food. <laughs> you you mean all these, these two years of wonderful, wonderful, beautiful marriage that we've been in, it's... We're opposite at our foods. You're all like, oh, you're not supposed to eat that. You shouldn't okay. eat that. Okay, listen blah, 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 to my blah, blah, people blah, blah, out there. I beg of you. If it comes in a box or a can... Or is a soda pop? Soda pop? Are you it's, like from up north now? Yes. No, they call it pop. Drinking pop. It's, it's not good for you, man. They ask, what's the secret? How did you lose all that? Just don't drink, man. Don't drink as much. I mean, <laughs> I'm bad, ain't I? Yeah. I'm bad. Okay, this is it for the one, two, three tag. We're moving on to the my husband does my makeup tag because he thinks he's going to be amazing at it. We're gonna do. I have gotten a lot of people requesting for him for, to do that. 
And see, this and is, he thinks that he's gonna be like awesome at well, this, well, this because the he, thing, I watch my sisters put makeup on. I'm like, you still look, don't. It know. doesn't. It doesn't matter. Look, the thing about it is, I understand. I understand the concepts okay. of what makeup is, and oh, but we'll yeah. see. And it's gonna get we'll more see. views. It's gonna get. Because I have no views. makeup on right now. And I'm doing her hair. I'm doing your hair. All right. So we'll see y'all. Bye. Bye.